As the young woman picked up the phone, her hands trembled and her heart lurched. Eighteen years old and on her own in Manhattan for the first time. Now, three months in, with no money for rent or food, she phoned her mother. Um, I hate to ask you this, but could you send me some money? No, was the answer. If you want to be there, you work it out. A small fury welled inside her. The young woman slammed down the phone. Her first thought was, I am never speaking to my mother again. Her second thought was, what now? Hi, I'm Garvin DeShazer, and this is your Daily Inspiration. Born in inner city Cleveland, Ohio, to parents who worked in a psychiatric hospital, her mother and father divorced when she was four. She still recalls the daily abuse from her early years. She watched her father beat her mother, kick her mother down the stairs, and hit her in the head with a wine bottle. As she reached high school, she plunged herself into a variety of extracurricular activities. She became newspaper editor, class president, and head cheerleader. I had an insatiable desire to win, she said. Drawing on her physical beauty, she entered numerous beauty pageants. In 1985, she was awarded first runner-up in the Miss USA competition. It seemed she had it all, beauty, brains, and talent, yet an emptiness gnawed inside her. Longing to break out of her home environment, Halle Berry moved to Chicago and modeled there for a year. In 1989, she moved to New York City. I took my modeling money, and when you're that young, I thought, I've got some cash. Well, here in New York City, three months later, I was out of my cash. Her mother, who had driven her to the city, had doubts from the start that Hallie's plan would pan out. When Hallie called her mother for money three months later, she refused to rescue her. If you want to be there, you work it out, her mother said. Figure it out or come home. I was so mad that I didn't speak to her for a year and a half, she says. But looking back... That was probably one of the best things she did for me. Unable to pay rent, she moved into a homeless shelter, where she stayed for several weeks, and then into a YMCA. While in the shelter, she got a job waitressing and then bartending. That was rough, she says, but quitting was never an option. I wanted to prove to everyone that I could support myself. You say I can't? Watch me. I'm going to figure this out. So... She figured it out. She began taking weekend classes at Second City, an improv school in New York City. At first, it was just for kicks, she said, to have something to do. But soon, a teacher spotted her natural talent and asked if she had ever considered acting. I so respected my teacher, she says, and I thought, well, you only live once. Let me see what I can do. She started studying with a prominent acting teacher noted for his ability to cultivate spontaneity and authenticity in actors. That's when I really got serious about acting, she says. By the end of that year, she was cast in an ABC television series filmed in New York City. During the filming, she lapsed into a coma and was later diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Never one to back down from a challenge, she managed her health and persisted in her career. I became a person who knows that I will always make my own way, she says. This determination has marked all areas of her life, in particular as she faced multiple failed relationships and divorces. I'm learning that I'm fearless, she says. I had so many fears as I went through my third divorce. I was afraid to do that, but I was more afraid of living unhappy. It's teaching me Don't be afraid of what people will think about the choices you make. We have to live for ourselves. So how did Halle Berry overcome a traumatic childhood and learn to pave her own way? She made a choice about what she wanted. She refused to give in to the temptation of being rescued, and she fearlessly persisted until she lived the life she dreamed. What obstacles do you face that interfere with your ability to reach your dreams? 
what people or factors enable you to give in to the seduction of being rescued? Are you willing to say, I am strong and I am capable and pave your own way today? Thanks for listening. May your day be filled with love, laughter, and joy. Bye for now. Hi, this is Scott, producer for the Daily Inspirations podcast. We hope you're enjoying these stories, and if you'd like more inspiration in your life, visit MyDailyIAm.com. You can find weekend blog posts, sign up for our email update list, and you can let us know about an inspirational story you'd like us to cover. Or just say hi. We'd love to hear from you.